clip arm, no cables, no chairs, no obstructions. Uh, and then basically coming into your, you know, retro cords. Okay, right. They all know that we follow the camera. Don't need to be doubly nervous. The nerves will go away as soon as you get in the rear. It just disappears. So don't worry about that too much. It should be nervous. It's a good sign. Uh, you come into the, obviously the main hall. You'll do your video bit with the crowd. And then you get into the rear. And then the referee will come across and just check you. Now you'll check your head guard, obviously you have to wear a head guard, to make sure it's securely fastened. You must be wearing a mouth guard, or else you won't fight. And you'll check that you're wearing a protector or a box. It normally just taps it, so if you're not wearing one, it could be a bit embarrassing for both sides. So make sure you're you know, you've got all your gear with you. Or you have to laugh and change, it's even more embarrassing. I've seen that happen before as well. And the, to score, the punch must land with a degree of force. If you just throw out little jabs, the referee, you want, the judges won't count them, right? It's got to be a punch that, that lands with force, and that's something that they will judge before it scores a point. If you watch Olympic boxing, you see lots of punches being thrown in, but the score for the round maybe something like 5 2. So a lot of, lot of punches aren't being counted because they're not landing with enough force. Also, you may feel that you've won the fight at the end of the night because you threw more punches. And it goes against you, you feel very sort of put out by that. It's all about landing in force and the punch. I know, well, we're going to be so good right now. 